Hey guys, Nessa here, and today I wanted to share with you guys um, something um, in this uh, brick history book. Uh, I wanted to build it, or try and build it. Let's see, it's on page 28. Uh, there it is. Um, I figured this would be the easiest one to try and build out of here, and I'm sorry if the cameras get a little shaky or whatever, because... Um, my camera stand is broken, so I can't put my phone on it or anything, or a camera or whatever, so yeah. Um, so today we're going to build something that they have in here called the first clock, which is the Egyptian shadow clock. Um, it's an early, it's one of the, what does it say, one of the simplest and early, if you guys want to pause it, you can. Uh, simplest and early methods of telling time. Uh, you have to place it so it's facing east-west and stuff and then calibrate it for the sun and whatever but it looks really cool so yeah um I figure this would be one of the easiest things and uh, maybe you guys can uh, build it with me and you know uh show me your mocks or your version of this or whatever um uh let's see well there's the parts list I'm gonna just set this up oh no my Statue of Liberty can can hold the book I guess or try to hold the book. <laughs> uh, it says... Let me put this down now. There we go. It says we will need two 1x4 plates, uh, two uh, 1x8 plates, one 1x10 plate. It says you need three of these 2x16 plates, but I only have one, so I'm using four more of these and it'll work I've already like made sure so you know if you have to use different parts I guess you could to make it you know to work um, and then you need one of these really cool pieces I'm not really quite sure what it's called but this mine's old this came from my old space set uh, I didn't think I had one and then I remembered oh yeah I've got that <laughs> uh, and then we need two um, one by two tiles uh, and then we also need two uh, one by six tiles and two um, one by eight tiles. Uh, also need two two by fours and three two by sixes as well as 21 of these little grill plates. Yeah. I'm going to move this book over to the side um, and I'm going to build this. Oh, my dude fell off and so did her book whatever um this is the instructions if you guys want to pause it or whatever and take a look um this book is really cool there's over like over 30 different builds in here if you can get this book i mean i recommend it i got mine for four dollars um at bell's yeah bell's outlet it's normally like 18.99 and then it says 22.99 for canada but yeah it's it's really cool. It has a lot of cool builds in it. So, yeah, let's see if I can build it. It's kind of weird. Like, okay, so you need these. And then it has this. And I don't know what piece that is. Oh, I guess it's this one again. Okay, so this will be part of the middle. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and then a the one by six, and then these go on top. So see, it works out. There we go. And then one of these little plates goes up here. I guess we fill this part in now. The one, the two by four, and then the two by six. So there we go. This is really long. And now we do this weird thing here. Okay. That goes there. And then that goes there. And I think it's the one by two. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the one by the one by ten. Yeah, it's the one by ten that goes at the top like that. They kind of have you build it like backwards. It's kind of strange. So you're gonna want to put this on like that, and then attach it from behind. And then the same thing for the other side. I know this one's a simple build. I just figured I wanted to do my first video with something that was kind of simple because I kind of don't know how these are going to look. So, and then we have the one by sixes and then the one by eights. This is actually kind of cool. It looks really strange. Uh, Chloe, you're making noise. And then we have to put 21 of these all the way across. And I guess they use these for telling time. Like, you can chart it as you go for the 12 hours. But I'm not quite sure exactly what it would be. And it says in the book also that you need to turn it around at noon. To me, that's like kind of a pain in the butt but I guess if you already know which direction it's going if you like make a line on the ground or something maybe it'll be easier and you just turn it around exactly the way you have it and last one there we go that one wasn't too hard but I'm pretty sure there's other kinds of sundials and things like that though this one they called the Egyptian shadow clock so yeah I don't know Okay, oh, we have some, well, some light. Okay, so I guess it would go like that. Here, It's going to go off camera a little bit because I'm trying to use my lamp. So I guess you put it like east to west or whatever it says. And then as the time goes, I'm going to lift it up off the floor or off the table. You're not supposed to, but I'm just using it so you can see the shadow. And see as the T part crosses this with the light that's how you would tell what time it was during the day but it would normally just stay in one place and yeah so I don't know it's kind of cool I wonder how big it is like like how big they would have them in real life or were they really this small and this is just a sample I don't know but it is pretty interesting so yeah um I want to try and do more of these from this book. Um, I think it would be really fun to like make all these little models and things um, and make them with you guys and maybe you know you guys will enjoy them and stuff. Um, I thought this one was a pretty good starter one. It seemed to be the easiest one out of all of them so I just wanted something simple to start with and whatnot. And I'm also like in my new space. I have a new desk and stuff so I'll have to like do another like room tour or something. Um, if anybody has any questions or whatever, just like leave them at the bottom and I'll try and do some like Q and A's as I'm like doing builds and things. Or maybe I can answer them while I do this series. I'm going to try and do this every other week. I think on a Monday I'll do this. And like I said, there's about 30 of them in here. So yeah, I think that'll be fun to do this for a while and then maybe move on to something else. We can find something else to build. But yeah. Um, Maybe you guys can try this and, yeah, share it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. So, have a good day. Keep on bricking, and bye.